<clears throat> Hello, this is DJ, and during this video, I'll be going over um, my research project and just kind of the process that went along making it. Um, so to start it off, when it comes to the search story about this project, I honestly just kind of picked the one that I thought would be like the most easiest to gather information out of because, you know, the world already know so much about the negative effects of drugs i just figured you know couldn't be that hard so there's nothing really deep behind that um i already knew things like how it negatively affected the brain and how you know it could cause um, serious injuries and things of that nature and what i wanted to find during this project was just um new things about the topic that i just could use for my research um, new things I didn't know about, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. As far as my search results go, um, so I learned a lot of things from each one of my sources. For example, the consequences of youth substance abuse, it talked about how, um, drugs in young teens caused decline in grades, more increased, uh, dropouts, and like just other social and academic problems for teenagers using drugs. On the other article I use, Adolescent Brain Development and Drugs, it stated how young people reported for higher rates of alcohol and marijuana abuse or dependence disorders compared to older age groups, which um, I didn't know that. And I didn't know any of this actually. Um, and then for the third one I used was the high risk substance use among youth. And according to the article, according to the article and according to, and according to research, it claims that a lot of adults who have, who have substance problems started using substances as teens. Um, which I also didn't know that. Um, and then my search reflections, uh, I basically just learned how how um, my thoughts on drugs were even worse than I originally thought because I never realized how much drugs had an effect on people's future and other people's future because a lot of people don't realize that taking drugs doesn't just affect themselves, it also affects other users around the, around the person who's taking the drugs. For example, in one of the articles, it, state, it states how Teens who use drugs also had a higher rate of um, being involved in sexual risk behaviors, which can cause harm for other people because, um, first off, you can get sexually transmitted diseases from not being safe or doing it in general at an age that you're not supposed to. And um, obviously having unprotected sex can cause pregnancy. And that's not good for anybody, especially at a young age. Um, it also affects family members, friends, because, you know, now that you're doing this, you have them worried about your mental health, which is, you know, messing up their mental health as well because of the poor choices that you've made. Um, another thing is that, like I said before, it has a, it, they play a big part on academics and I can, and looking back, I can see that now because I know people who, who use drugs that go to our school that, you know, get nothing done, always late to class, you know, never paying attention. And it just really, um, you know, got me into perspective on how bad drugs really are because, you know, to be frank, if it's not happened to you, then you don't, you can't, you can't really like tell how bad it really is. But me reading that article and then looking back at some of the people I know, it, it kind of just linked and it made, uh, and it made sense to me. Um, Another thing stated in the article was that obviously, you know, teens have underdeveloped um, brains. So um, I believe that the article said that the emotional part of the brain, which is like in like the back of the brain, grows slower than the, um, the reasoning part of, the, of our brain, which is the frontal, the frontal cortex, I think it's called. And that's relevant to my topic because... You know, teens are obviously emotional, you know, going through puberty hormones. So if 
the brain's emotional part isn't fully um, developed, that causes teens to do things that they probably shouldn't do um, in certain moments of like high stress, pure peer pressure, which is why a lot of teens take these drugs simply because their brain's un- underdeveloped and taking the drugs when your brain's underdeveloped doesn't make it any better because it just messes it up. It messes it up even more and slows down the development of um, of the brain even more than what it should have. Um, yeah, th- those are like some key um, things that I learned during my projects. There's um, there's more than that, but yeah, I just I just wanted to go over those because I thought those had the most importance. Um, so yeah, that's that's my process. Um, That's my process on the research project. And um, yeah, thank you for listening. (laughs)